testing. Alrighty guys, what is up, and welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future the Game. In the last episode, we actually defeated Keith Cannon, and uh, we ended episode 2, and everything was fine and great, until we saw Doc and Edna go to the movies. And then we go back to 1986, and we see this giant po po uh, poster of a bald Doc, and it says... First, Citizen Brown. So that is what we're going to be doing in episode 3 today. If you do like that, we are starting episode 3 today. Then definitely leave a like. Guys, this is going to be one of the longer episodes, which is surprising because we don't have that many long episodes. This is going to be about 29 minutes. Actually, hold on a minute. Go back for a minute. I just want to check our subtitles on. Uh, settings. Subtitles are on. Good. Uh, and if you do like it, then definitely leave a like. If you could share this on all social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all that other stuff. If you could subscribe so that if you like the series, you can get updated daily. Yes, show his goals. Uh, we are almost at 165 subscribers. And if you could, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc., please leave those in the description box below. Starring Telltale Games. Sorry, I wanted to get to this. Present, presents in association with Universal Par uh, Partnership and Licensing. Thursday, May 15th, 1986. What kind of socks are those? Who the heck is that? Hill Valley Southgate. What kind of hairstyle is that? Great Scott, it's the DeLorean. <laughs> she doesn't even hear the DeLorean. Oh, I guess that's from... Back! To the future! The game. Guys, we're already on episode 3. I know that's insane. I... And the thing about that... Episode 3, Citizen Brown. Written and designed by J.D. Straw. Relax, we have everything under control. Welcome to Hill Valley's first Citizen Brown. Lead animator Jeff Sari. Think about earlier last month we only had up to part four. Lead choreographer Dennis Lennart. Lead programmer Randy Tudor. Directed by Eric Parsons. Story consultant Bob Gale. Hill Valley Southgate. Is she actually cleaning up litter? Great Scott. Doc. Relax. We've got everything under control. What the frick happened? Uh. Citizen Brown. That's Doc, all right, but what the heck's going on here? Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. It's jammed. This is the dumbest design ever. I know, I think it... Could you give me a... Jennifer? Jennifer! Ay ay ay! What the frick happened to you? I liked you a lot better in the movies. Jennifer! I need some help! Martin? It is you! Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? That's not what I meant by hand. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Luke or Bo? Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just... What's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so different. Exactly. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. Oh. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was going to say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What did you do to your hair? Exactly. Skelter, skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What's with the attitude? 
I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my huh. part to support the arts in Hill Valley. The arts in Hill Valley? Typical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard. Where did you even get a DeLorean? No. Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. Could you call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not going to explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. What do you mean you're in enough trouble? You got any rope you can toss me? Yeah, that would be helpful. Uh, all I have is so yeah, this is going to be one of the longer episodes, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch it. What do you give me for it? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Geekzilla. Uh. What do we have that she might want? Like, I want to remind anyone that the new me couldn't get a date to prom. They don't need it. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give me here. Ugh. It smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oh! Oops. Oh. Yeah, we better keep that safe. Okay, guys, we are about eight minutes into the episode. Which means tomorrow we will continue episode well, 3. your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? It doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. She went... Hey, Jennifer, she went all gothic. Gothic. Room, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The frick is- Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, it's gonna get worse. Oh, yeah, well, that DeLorean's not being fixed anytime soon. Looks like you're permanently stuck here for now. Ah! We're screwed. Ah! We're screwed. DeLorean's broke, our girlfriend hates us. How can this get any? Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. What the frick is that supposed to mean? These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? That wheel is jiggity. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Oh, even the time, well, the flux. 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... That's not good.
There's a security camera. What kind of world is this? Gate. How the hell do you get through these? Squawk box? Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Uh, can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the north gate. Oh, north gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? Uh, it must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Real subtle, Marty. Oh, hold on. I forgot we had that tire iron. There we go, guys. So yeah, this is one of the longer episodes of Back to the Future of the Game. The only other longer episode I think we've had is uh, when we met Young Doc. I think that was like episode okay, four. Good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm... Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Flying wheel! Sick! Oof. What we got inside? Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Would this be like timeline F? I would assume it would be like F, because I remember in the last. Oh! Hope you're insured. Use the DeLorean parts to oh, enter man. Hill Valley. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate Hill Valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Give too much of modern day. And back to the future, part two. This is like the opposite of that, by the way, where Doc is ruling everything, I think. By the way, we have about 16 minutes left on the episode. You should be a Citizen Plus. Hill Valley Bureau of Discipline. Hill Valley un unit, uh, Unite, or Unity. I should know what that word is. Kind of, the frick? Hey, I'm walking here! And why do they use go-karts? Super Supmo? Oh my gosh. Hill Valley Bureau of Discipline. What is that? The police are so so clean. So not like Hill. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. What? The frick did we do, guys? Uh, can somebody speak plain English? Explain to me what the frick happened. Okay, guys, this is extremely weird. Not normal. Who the frick is that? What's going on here, Doc? There are video cameras. 
And there's a guy behind us. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, Parker, uh, Danny? It's Thursday. Yeah. Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of civic. Oh, they have OCD stuff. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. ID in direct violation of ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Whoa. Quiet. Hold still. This is scaring me. OCD Perfect Doc Brown World. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? I want to know what... Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? I don't know. At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. He never became a scientist? Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts? Bubblegum is illegal? Bubblegum and dogs are illegal? What did you do to Einstein? The civic ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Oh wait, this is her dad. Oh, this is Danny's son! I've got to finish my beat. Oh, I thought this was Danny himself! No, no what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. The frick? This is freaking weird. Recycling bins. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Res Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. Tell me about Comformist. Hairstylists always have such clever names, just like coffee shops. Yeah. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. Oh, we got it. Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. First citizen Brown. The mind head of Hill Valley. Is that Edna? A man of infinite wisdom and awe inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering, using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. Like 
Citizen Plus program. Citizen Plus. E. Brown Industries. That's hopeful. Citizen Reading Room. I guess there's one in every town. Look around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. I almost want to explore the entire area, guys. This is really weird. We have about uh, eight minutes left on the video. So, just letting you guys know. Again, a little bit of a longer episode. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely. Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown. Boiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow, today. All citizens bank. I don't like the overuse of the word citizen in this timeline. I'm gonna just go through and make sure that I've touched upon every single little dot. Because there are so many freaking little dots. Oh. Having fun, kid? Nah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Hold on a minute. That thing is weird. Ah, oh, they look like parking tickets. Do I gotta pay a fine or something? Good lord. Is that everything? I think it is, guys, so we're gonna continue, I guess. Great, we got tickets for moving that. We should have never done that. This is really weird, guys. By the way, I do have an episode 3 logo I am going to use, but, uh... But, I'm not going to be making any more episodes today, besides I'm on a little bit of a... They got an Einstein on the sides, that's cool. With the motion first started at 8pm on September 5th that same year, the clock tower was once struck by a bolt of lightning on November 12th, 1955, damaging the clock motion beyond conventional repair. During the downtown renovation project of 1976, the damaged clock was dismantled and a new modern clock was installed as the window to the mayoral office. Look up! You just might catch a silhouette pacing behind the glass. That's First Citizen Brown, pondering how to make your future better. Gates? Ah, huh, these are new. Whoa. Heavy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I'm just standing here. Loitering, huh? What is this? It's a demerit. No loitering. So get a move on, citizen. You gotta be kidding. Step away from the decycling bin, citizen. Decycling? The final resting place for all contraband within Hill Valley, the decycling bin ensures that socially toxic items will never find their way back into the hands of the general public in any way, shape, or form. So it's where all the cool stuff goes to die. If by cool you mean dangerous, then yes. Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. It's Edna! Oh, there he is. 
Doc? Biff? Biff? Doc? Doc? Doc had an appointment with Biff? I'm talking to Biff. Wait! I need to talk to... You. Oh, crap. Let's go talk to Biff. If we have to go around this way, I guess. I think Biff is over here. Biff. Biff. Hey, well, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest, Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! <laughs> Doc! Yeah, that should be his new nickname. But, but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad app. I'm in the middle of a video! I'll be done in like two minutes! I don't see why that would make you a special Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to end this what a little bit earlier say, than normal. I was always getting into Whoa. trouble. Into too much trouble. What with the booze, the party, and the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You pack, get it? Uh, yeah. We're gonna what end it after talking to Biff. Brown. Well, after getting in some Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to end this episode here. I have an enraged mother to go deal with. Uh, if you did like the video, leave a like and definitely subscribe. I will hope to see you guys in another episode. And peace.